Welcome everyone to the bottom of Alpe d'Huez. Today I'm going to be doing something very exciting. As you know, I'm a massive Marco Pantani fan and I'm going to be doing something I never thought I was going to do. I'm going to try and challenge his all-time record on the climb. But I only have 320 watts to play with, so I'm going to be seeking a bit of assistance to beat this all-time legend. But before I start, I need to get changed. Right now I'm back in my favorite attire, complete polka dots and uh, yeah, this is the bike that I'm going to be using. It's not my own Cannondale, unfortunately. And uh, fully kitted out with 500 watts, so it should be fun. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. Here we go. Ready or not, up to it. Here I come. So those banners there mark the start of this absolutely mythical almost 14 kilometer climb that has 21 hairpins. At this point Pantani was joined by quite a lot of riders on the early slopes of the mountain. First hairpin of Alpuez and at this point it was looking quite good in terms of pace. So one hairpin down, 20 still to go. It was spectacular to feel the pace of the e-bike as well. I was just breezing past a lot of riders. So at this point, Marco Pantani was lifting the pace in the peloton and tried to get as rid of as many riders as possible. At this point, Pantani was almost neck and neck with me on speed and he was only joined by Veronk and Jan Ulrich. At the nine minute mark, there were plenty of riders who were looking in awe as I was just passing them as easy as nothing, courtesy of the e-bike. At this point, I was starting to get a few seconds ahead on Mr. Pantani.
It was at about this point that Marco Pantani in his own race started to get rid of Jan Ulrich and drop him. is the time. But I might run out of battery before I get out there. boost here but here we go hope no traffic 3.4 miles so Pantani was only a few seconds ahead of me so it was pretty close at this point So like me on an e-bike beat a demigod god of cycling like Marco Pantani. That's what we are trying to find out here. Pantani was left with no equals in his race and absolutely storming up the mountain on his own. This is not something I was expecting. Bit of a breather. Save some battery. Come on, guys. There's a record on the line here. Meow. Ah. Go, 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 go. The fight for GoPro battery, the fight for e bike battery. I must say, it's absolutely gorgeous here. 2.5 miles, 2.5 miles. I think it's gonna be within eight, five seconds either way. So, I should just shut up and carry on now.
Here we go, look. I look at it. At this point, Marco Pantani was at the two kilometer mark to go and just roaring up the road. It was extremely close at this point between Marco Pantani and myself, so there was no room for error. However, I did get the map a bit wrong on the Garmin. So instead of going right, as you can see here, I actually went left. So a bit of a U-turn was on the agenda and I quickly made it around and then back on course again. But that definitely did help Marco Pantani out a bit. In terms of Marco Pantani, he was rushing past the Flam Rouge and absolutely storming it up the mountain and we could see that he was just going around a bit of a turn so extremely close between the two of us and i just had to dart towards the finish to try and see if i could make it here Coming up to the final left hand bend before we come up to the finish line and then I accidentally saw that it, it shut off the roundabout so it was a one way system I thought but quickly managed to negotiate around that and then it was on the finish straight doing all the power I could do with everything left here of the e-bike as well. Come on, lost a bit of time there. The finish line was definitely in sight and go, go, it looked go, like go, I would go, just go. about nip Marco Pantani's record. Only 11 kilometers left of range, oh my goodness. So there you have it, Marco Batani's record beaten by an e-bike and Marco Batani of course won his stage emphatically. That is basically it. Top of Alpe d'Huez here. 
absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, what have we learned? That gods can be slayed, but only if you have an e-bike. I'm under no illusion that if this hill climber who goes 600 watts for two minutes at most, uh, I don't think I could do anything against uh, Marco Pantani on this. I, I would be, yeah, I don't know, best time would have been maybe 10 minutes behind him. And uh, that's been quite generous, I think. So uh, don't worry, I am not gonna be one of these, what should we call them, cheats who upload e-bikes onto Strava. I fight with them daily. So uh, yeah, but it was just to prove what could I do on an e-bike against Mr. Marco Pantani. Absolute legend, I am such a fan. Oh, it's a privilege just to feel for a few moments what it's like to climb like the legend himself. So with that, Thank you very much for watching as always. Do comment down below what you thought of this bit of silliness. And of course, there's gonna be more videos here on the outdoors because why not? Uh, I won't be here for that long. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I will see you around.